Tonight, a man accused of plotting to have his nephew murdered for an insurance payout took the stand to testify on his own behalf. We have been watching the trial of Tim Norman, a co-owner of Sweetie Pie's Soul Food Restaurants. Fox 2's Kelly Hoskins has been in the courtroom all day and has the developments. It's day six of the murder trial and Tim Norman took to the stand to testify. He's been accused of being the mastermind behind the murder for hire trial to kill his nephew. Norman and his family became known for the reality TV show Welcome to Sweetie Pies on the Oprah Winfrey Network for several seasons. On Tuesday, Norman was on the stand for hours during his testimony. Defense attorneys asked Norman if he had anything to do with the murder for his 21-year-old nephew, Andre Montgomery Jr. Norman answered, no, sir. He testified that his nephew was present when the insurance application was being filled out by his insurance agent. He says he doesn't recognize the handwriting on the application. The defense attorney asked about one of the insurance agent's partners, and Norman says he does not know who that is, applying that they were the ones who filled out the forms and Tim was kept in the dark. He also denied ever relaying a message to the alleged shooter to kill his nephew. Norman said Andre was his brother's kid, and his brother died when Andre was a baby. So Norman said he decided to step in to be a role model and a father figure. Norman said he paid for Montgomery to go to music school, pay for the apartment, and gave him weekly allowance, providing groceries and clothes. Norman says that when he learned that his nephew stopped going to school and showing up for work, uh, that's when Norman said Montgomery got kicked out of his apartment and he decided to cut him off financially. Defense also showed pictures of Montgomery posing with guns, and Norman said he was concerned about Montgomery lifestyle, and Norman said it was suggested he should get a life insurance policy. The defense attempted to imply Andre was involved in gang activity, but the U.S. Attorney's Office successfully overrode it. Prosecutors will now have their turn to cross-examine Norman tomorrow morning. Reporting in downtown St. Louis, I'm Kelly Hoskins.